Hey everyone, it is time for Isaac's Saturday Race Tips. Today I look at races taking place at the Valley, Royal Randwick, and also a few at Eagle Farm. Let's start off at the Valley, and let's start off with race two, the Dr. Sheehan Plate, which is a 1200 metre. I've got number two, Pinion, Barrier three, Josh Richards in the saddle, turning back at $5.50. My second selection is number three, Don't Tell the Boss in Barrier four, who's currently backed at $9.50, and Alana Kelly is in the saddle for Don't Tell the Boss. If I needed to choose a winner, I'm probably leaning uh, towards Pinion. Hopefully, um, it can get the win today. Race three is the Stuart Murray Handicap. It's a 1,200 metre. I've got number two, Mystery Shot, Barrier 5. Now, it's been a while since it's the last start, which is all the way back in March. A horse with more recent form is number seven, Yulong Storm, who's in Barrier 2, and that's why I'm leaning towards Yulong Storm for at least a win, or um, more likely I feel that Yulong Storm might get a place. Both horses are backed at $12, so really good odds there. Um, and, you know, you never know. Both of them might come in. Race 5 is the Ladbroke and Handicapped, 2,500 metre. I've got number 2, Tavi Run. Barrier 5, uh, $12 is the odds. I've also got number 9, Reflect the Stars, Barrier 3, and it's currently back to $6. Craig Williams on Reflect the Stars. Now, they both finished second in their last start. So, both horses up to okay form, getting a placing at least. Um, I'm really hoping Tavi Run can get up for the win. Um... Yeah, I just feel like he needs it, and uh, it's going to be great to see if he can get up today. Race 7 is the Ranford Handicap, it's a 2,040 metre. I've got number 3, Grand Promenade, Barrier 8, uh, currently back to $4. John Allen in the saddle. Now, it ha it's it been up to great form all year. It's as simple as that. Um, pretty much in all of its races, it's either finished first or second. Uh, phenomenal season for Grand Promenade. Hopefully, Grand Promenade can get the win today. I've also chucked in number seven, Pancho. Um, barrier 10, Craig Williams in the saddle. Currently back at $7.50, and its last start at the Valley, it finished second. So, it's all right at the Valley. It goes all right there. Uh, hopefully, Pancho can go well. The old... Um, Good old Pancho back in the field because sometimes he does get scratched or sometimes you know things don't go to plan but when he can put on a really really good show and um, performance uh, it's great to watch so hopefully Pancho might uh, cause an upset in race seven at the valley race eight is the long fine hospitality supplies Carlium stakes at uh, 1000 meter race number three gray worm barrier eight Craig Williams on board, $5.50 is the odds. Now, it hasn't won uh, or placed since 2020, so it's been a while for Grey Worm. Uh, I've also got number nine, who's more of a certain chance to at least place or win, and it's Miss Albania, Barrier 5, Jamie Carr on board. First selection of the day uh, for Jamie Carr for uh, Isaac's recaps, Saturday race tips. Uh, now, it is the favourite, $3.70. Uh, she's been uh, phenomenal. Not not only Jamie Carr, but Miss Albania, um, all year, just brilliant, and and um, also in twenty twenty, nearing the end, at the last three three or so couple of months in twenty twenty, she's been brilliant. Wins places, she's always been there. She's always made the right move, Miss Albania, and um, you know I'm expecting Miss Albania to get the win today in race eight at the Valley. Race nine is the Barossa Fine Foods. Handicap, it's a 1,200 metre. I've got number one, Defibrillate. Uh, Barry three, Madison Lloyd in the saddle, currently backed at $19, Defibrillate. Fantastic form early this year with four consecutive wins. Then it dropped off, had a spell for 20 weeks, and we haven't seen much of this horse um, since then. Hopefully today, Defibrillate can get the win, because, you know, it is at long odds with $19. But if you remember, early this year, uh, in one of those four consecutive wins, uh, it was backed at $34 around that mark, and it surprised everyone, and that's when it started to just, um, you know, I guess, um, just pepper away in races and, and keep going and get the wins and then work its way to becoming a favourite of some sort. So defibrillate, never rule out the dark horse in the race, folks. I've chucked in number nine, Shot of Irish, Barrier 8, $6.50. Um, it might get the win. Great win at the Valley in 2020 in the Kia Homes Travis Harrison Cup. Uh, so hopefully it can get another win today at the Valley. 
Let's move off to a Royal Rand with race two, the Gold Coast Turf Club Trophy. The G. There is a huge amount of races at uh, Randwick today. 2,400 metre is the um, Gold Coast Turf Club Trophy. Number seven, Red Santa. I think he can go really well. Uh, barrier nine, Kieran McAvoy in the saddle. It's a favourite at $3.40. Uh, but don't rule out number nine, Tur Willeker. Uh, Barry three, $6.50. And Tommy Berry in the saddle. It's going to be great to see the, how those two horses go. Race four is the SAJC Trophy. It's a 1,600 metre. I've got number four. It's my only selection in this race. It's re-edit. Barrier five, Hugh Bowman in the saddle. Currently back at $6. Now, it had a three-week spell, but before that, its last two starts have finished... Um, um, third, and they have been at Royal Randwick, so it's used to this track. Race six is the Silver Shadow Stakes. It's a 1,200 metre. Uh, again, only the one selection for me. It's number one, four moves ahead. Barrier eight, favourite, currently at $2, and James McDonald is in the saddle. Earlier in 2021, it was great, but it's dropped off from then. Um, hopefully, four moves ahead can pick up at its game and um, in the Silver Shadow Stakes today, I think it'll be a great win for not only the horse, but for James McDonald, the jockey as well. Race 8 is the um, biggest race of the day for me. It's the Wink Stakes. It's a 1,400 metre. I've got number 3, Cascadian. Barrier 7, Hugh Bowman on board. Currently backed at $9.60. It won the Doncaster Mile, finished third in the All Age Stakes. It's been up to great form, Cascadian. Uh, I've also chucked in number 12, Very Elegant, who is the favourite uh, in Barrier 5, currently back to $3.60, and James McDonald is on board. Seeing these two horses, if they come up to the straight, and it is first and second, it's going to be great not only to see the horses, but the jockeys battle it out. Hugh Bowman, Jazz McDonald, they're two of, uh, they're two great jockeys up at Randwick. Um, and just speaking about Hugh Bowman on Cascadian, Bowman had, you know, phenomenal wins on Winx, uh, the horse that it's named, this race is named after. Uh, and, you know, just seeing him just go and go on, the, on that horse and, and ride her over for a win, and you just see it coming, you'd know that she'd win. Winks, she was just a star, and it's not only in the horse, but it is in the jockey. Well done to Bowman, and hopefully he can get another win on Cass... Um, another win, I guess, um, just for the season, I guess, on Cascadian today uh, in the Winx Stakes. It'll be special to see him get the win. Eagle Farm, let's move up there. I've only got the three races that I look at. Just quickly, race three, I've got number two, uh, Alanara. Barrier 7, uh, currently back to $14. Last start, finished second, so hopefully Alanara can get the win or a place. Race 4, I've got number 1, exclusive. Barrier 8, $9.50 is the odds. But I've also chucked in number 3, Vinco. Uh, barrier 4, currently back to $4.80. And Jim Byrne on uh, board for Vinco. And race 6 is, uh, is going to be a great race, but I've only got the one selection. It's number 6. Queen's Pier, Barrier 1, currently backed at $9, and Robbie Frad on board. Hopefully, Queen's Pier can get the win. Um, hopefully, it turns out to be a great day of racing, and I'm sure it will be huge races. Yes, there are a few at the Valley, but the major ones are at Randwick. If you are taking a punt, good luck, and as always, gamble responsibly.